Remember? Right? They're down there on the goal line. And what happened? Somebody give somebody draw the picture for me. Somebody paint the picture for me. What happened in our last play? P.I. holding. Listen to all you guys. <laughs> a guy couldn't get off the line of scrimmage, right? When you evaluate offensive players at the skill positions, at the receiver position, at the tight end position, one of the things that you evaluate, can he get off of press coverage if he's a wide out, and can he get off of a linebacker if he's a tight end? Because what they will try and do with great players like this guy is they're going to try and hold you up at the line of scrimmage, make it difficult for you to get into the into the coverage, right? They don't allow you what we call free access into the into the secondary. So I need a volunteer who plays defense at UCD. So I'm talking about you. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna show you a couple of ways that these guys are taught to get off press coverage or a bump. All right, now. You be on defense. I just want you to stand <laughs> Don't, do not hurt him, please. He's working a lot Okay? If a guy, if a defensive player is trying to grab you, like you try and get your hands on Kyle, right? Kyle will execute a swim move or a rip move to try and free himself from the defender. So again, Kyle, if you walk through that for him, right? You notice how he works, and this is really important. Any players out there? There's a thing that, that you, you start to understand as you play the game and, and go progress in football. You almost always work same foot, same hand, or same foot, same shoulder. As you watch Kyle, as the, as the hands of the defender come, he steps and clubs with the same hand, the right foot and right hand, so that he can get his hip past the defender. Because if he never steps, he'll stay locked on and in the middle of the defender. So as you watch that, he just did a little subtle move with his right foot and his hand as he stepped, and now he turns his body to get skinny, and it's tough sometimes for these big guys to get skinny. Skinny is a relative turn. <laughs> but as you watch it, uh, you look at him. <laughs> if you look at Kyle, here's, here's, here's what the defensive player has to hit. All of that surface. And what he needs to do is he needs to compress his surface by bending his knees and bringing, bringing his pads down. And then as he turns his shoulders, he gets skinny. Watch how his surface disappears. Now that's all the defender has to hit. So it's a constant game of trying to fit through gaps and get skinny. So one more time, please. All right, now, Kyle's got to get off the line of scrimmage and attack the cover two safety, which is me. He's going to go with a head with a head fake just to set up the defender and then work his his swim move to the outside. Ready? Go. There you go, right there. All right. Don't feel like you're the Lone Ranger. He does it to him every Sunday. All right? <laughs> that is really really critical, and that transcends every position on the football field. That's one of the skills that you have to master to be a great receiver. Now, how many players out here? You can, you're fired. You can go sit down. <laughs> you know it's. In our game, and the games that these guys play as young players, right, which is a little bit different here in Europe, and one of the skills that young European players need to really learn is how to frankly catch the football. In America, the games, basketball, baseball, those are sports where we use our hands. Your kids, you grow up over here playing sports where typically you don't use your hands very much, all right? It's football. As you catch the ball, I want you to ex extend your hands. Look how big his hands are, right? Again, Talking about the, each, each position on the field has basically a job description. One of the things that they measure in the combine is the width of your hands. Show again, show them your hands. See how big that hand is? And the object of football is to catch the ball in your hands, not on your body. And he uses what we call, that ball looked like it disappeared in there, didn't it? <laughs> he uses what we call hand selection, all right? You don't want the ball off of your body because your pads are hard and the ball has a tendency to bounce off. And you watch him catch the ball out away from his body, right, in front of himself, so that he's catching the ball. And you see, did you hear how quiet it was when he caught the ball? If you, if you shut your eyes and you listen to a bunch of guys playing catch, the ones that catch the ball soft, you can hardly hear them, hear the ball go into their hands. And again, he's got such natural ability to catch the ball in his fingertips. 
All right? That is really what you want to do. Now, once you've caught the ball, what's the next most important thing you got to do, young players? You got to protect the football, right? I'm sure these guys get tired of hearing the coaches talk about ball security, ball security, ball security. Because more than anything else, what dictates winners and losers in football games are turnovers, right? So I want you to shoot. watch how he puts the ball away now. As soon as he catches it, he locks it up and puts it what we call high and tight on his body so that the defender can't get at it. And again, as you watch these guys play in practice, as they catch the ball, it's almost an immediate reaction that they take the ball and again, seat the ball away as soon as they catch it. So again, you got a chance to watch an all-pro player here today in Dublin, Ireland, teach you how to catch the football and get off the line of scrimmage. How about it for college?